Hey everybody. Um, quick little video. Hopefully quick. It should be fast. Um, this is going to be slightly on the sort of intermediate, advanced-ish side of things. We're going to do a um, posit height um, and a move your print head, park it in a certain location to do either a filament change or a um, um, if you want to embed things in your print. Um, so here's my example I've been doing right because I my preference is to use idea maker every once in a while I have to go back to Kira for some things but I like the quality of the prints again I'm idea maker um, I like the features that Kira has I just don't uh, always like using Kira so this is a little attempt to sort of hack one of the scripts that's in Kira use that in your G code that's generated by idea maker so you can achieve the same effect as you would um, if you were using Kira in your idea maker slice um, so specifically I print a couple of things um, and what I need to do is embed magnets in them and um, so I basically wait until about a millimeter from the top um, from this print and then I do a pause I park the print head somewhere I embed some magnets in the print uh, and then I resume and come back and it just covers right over the top of the part and now I have an embedded magnet in this thing and it's um, you know a fast and nifty process um, and I, well, while I can do the same thing uh, in Kira my preference is to use idea maker because I get better quality prints I don't have the patience to tweak and tune a Kira profile um, I don't have the patience or the time to do it. So it was much easier just to do this little hack. So here we go. Here's how you do it. <coughs> Very important that um, whatever your printer setup is uh, and your layer height and your bed dimensions um, in Idea Maker are the same settings that you have in Cura, right? So I'm using a 300 by 300 by 400 print volume for my CR10. I'm loading the same values in Cura when I sent the printer up over there. Uh, for this particular thing, I'm using a 0.6 model, so I'm going to make sure that is set up the same uh, in Idea Maker and in Cura. Uh, and so we're going to pause at a particular height. So here's how you're going to do it. You load in your object. So I've loaded this directly into the bed. Uh, no moving, no scaling, no nothing. Um, stuck it in the middle. Um, I'm going to go to my Start button. I'm going to pick my print profile. Click Edit. Uh, you do your normal shells, infill density, whatever. Um, to set your layer height, so I'll print this at 0.2 um, and get all your print settings the way you want them for Idea Maker because this is really it's going to judge the quality of your print. When you have all of that good, the run uh, the two things you just need to remember to, to take over to Cura with you because it'll be kind of important. Uh, so, layer height important, not super important, but important. Uh, and then over on the other tab. Uh, I'm going to do a pause on this cube at 10 millimeters. Right? I know it's a 20 millimeter cube. I'm going to pause it right in the middle. I'm going to throw some gunk in it, and then I'm going to resume it. Um, so the reason why this doesn't work all the time with um, an idea maker is so idea maker issues something called an M2000 command in your G code. If your printer doesn't recognize M2000, so i.e. a not raise 3D printer like an N1 or an N2 or something like that, uh, chances are your G code's just going to be ignored by your firmware and it's just going to pass over the pause and keep on going. So if you did it right here and tried to throw it in on like a Marlin based firmware, uh, M2000, no likey. So um, I'm going to set it at 10, add the pause point, say OK. I'm going to go ahead and slice my stuff here and I'm going to get um, uh, your G codes ready to go. Let me go ahead and export this. I'm going to put it here and just call it, um, you know, XYZ Cube Idea Maker. Yep, because I've already done it. We'll do it again. It's okay. And then we're going to go straight over to Kira. I'm going to do the same thing. I've loaded the uh, the cube into Kira. Same position. No scaling. No movement. I've got my nozzle set up as a 0.6. I've got my bed 300, 300, 400. Uh, I've set my layer height to 200. From there, that's all you really need. You don't need all the rest of the stuff if you don't if you don't like using Kira as much as I don't like using Kira. You don't need all this other crap. You just need those basics. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, Extensions, Post Post Processing, Modify G Code. <coughs> and let's do this from scratch. You're going to say Add Script. You're going to do Posit Height. You don't need Posit Height for BQ. You don't need uh, Posit Height for Repetier, Repetier, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, you just need Posit Height. Uh, remember, you're going to do height, not layer in this case, because you've only been told um, uh, 10 millimeters in, um, you know, in Idea Maker, so we're going to make the pause. So you're going to select pause. Your height to pause at is 10. 
I park my printhead at 50 on the X and about 190 on the Y. This puts it in the back uh, left corner. Um, so it moves the head to the back and to the left uh, so you can play with the model that's in the middle of your bed uh, and then hit resume and it comes back, you know, and having to reach over your, you know, your X gantry to get the crap. So 50, 90, uh, 50, 190 is good if you want to retract uh, because you're going to change filament. This is a good spot to just say throw in a, you know, whatever, 100 millimeters of retract or 200 millimeters of retract, whatever you want to do. Your speed, uh, do you want to prime the nozzle after the pause? So if you want to, uh, after you feed your filament back in, do you want to prime it an extra 10, an extra 30, whatever, that you're just going to snip off with some tweezers or something. But that's this is the extrude amount that you, so you can prime the nozzle. Do you want to redo any layers? Uh, and then this is important. So um, if you're if you're just going to let it pause and sit like overnight or something like that, then leave it at zero. Let the nozzle cool off. Um, otherwise, you can specify uh, an alternate standby temperature. I'm going to be standing over this thing, so I'm going to say standby 200, and my print temperature is 200. Uh, let's say close. I'm going to go to prepare. It gives me a slice. I'm going to save this to file, and I'm going to name it. Kira, yes, I've done it. I'm going to do it again. Yes, I want to overwrite. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open these two files in Notepad. So here we go. We will open Idea Maker over here. Over here on this side. And we'll open Kira. Try to move this thing so my big fat face ain't in the way. Right about here. And so on your uh, ID maker, let's do a control F, find M2000. Remember, this is the ID maker slice, the G code for ID, the one you're going to be using to print, right? This is where ID maker issued the M2000 pause, pause command. Now, if you want to be super slick about it, you can just change this to M0. And when it gets to that point, the head's just going to go boop and stop and wait for you to press the nozzle to go do something. So. Um, roll the dice on where this thing stops and if you can move around your print nozzle to do whatever the hell you want to do with it um, but you can do that you can just issue an M0 here and it'll pause and wait for you to press the knob on your machine to restart it um, in this case we're going over here we're going to do a control F on the cure side and find pause and here you go so you can see this is the script essentially that was added by the pause at height um, script and you know that because you get the posit height.py there and anything with a semicolon in front of it in your g code is just a note right your your firmware is going to ignore it it's just going to roll right through it's just a note so i like to take anything that's in between the um um like uh, so i copy this uh script posit height and i come all the way down here to the next semicolon right there and i say copy and I come over here to the idea maker piece and I highlight that M2000 and I paste right over it. And file, save, and you're done. Send it to your printer. Put it on the SD card, throw it in your printer, however you want to do it. And that's all you got to do. So when it gets to 10 millimeters, it will pause, it will park the head, it will stay at that temperature. You can do whatever you want. Press your control knob a couple times um, and it'll verify the head seated back up, move back over, and print. That's it. So eh, you don't need to know what all that G code means. You just need to know that if you have your setups the same between Idea Maker and Kira, and you know what uh, what height you want to pause at, make sure that's the same in your scripts. Uh, copy paste done. So there you go. Uh, I hope it's helpful. Um, like I said, I, I was having to use it. Thought it might be helpful to maybe one or two others. Um, so there you go. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I will do my best to respond quickly. See ya.